Hi folks, Max from Galaxy S2 Root.com for this week's ROM of the Week. Check out Vivek ROM uh, by XDA user Corruption Free India. Uh, this was actually suggested to me by one of you, uh, one of you, um, one of our users here at Galaxy S2 Root.com, and uh, this was supposedly a uh, very good ROM, no problems, very good performance. Um, it is running Android 4.2. 4.1.2, sorry, uh, along with a Jabu kernel here. And uh, you can actually install it also on AT&T. Uh, it is available for the GTI 9100, and uh, you can apply the mod to install on the AT&T. I'll have links on how to install it on the AT&T Galaxy S2. You just need to install a Jabu kernel and also um, install the uh, modem for the SGHI 777. Uh, working pretty well out of the box, and there is no overclocking on this ROM, but it is um, definitely very, very smooth. I've had no problems um, as far as performance goes. And some of the stuff you can do, um, lock screen options, and uh, there's nothing there. Uh, but if you go into the ink color changer, um, you'll be able to apply some ink effects of your liking. And it's slightly theme kind of uh, which is nice and kind of a roundish um, theming and you'll be able to see some of that in settings here and also you can see the windows are nicely round there um, so very nice ROM and also supports uh, many languages out of the box uh, let me go ahead and show you um, all the languages that it supports um, Deutsch um, German English different types of Ger uh, English Spanish, Irish, um, you know, all the languages are there. Uh, Ar Arabic, I think Arabic's in there. Is there in there? Um, it should be in there. All right, it should support it. Anyway, a very nice ROM, and uh, also it does have call recording, and also for camera, uh, you do have shutter option uh, for the camera. You can turn it off if you want. In the menus here, um, go ahead and turn it off and you'll be able to turn it off and also it does have volume key uh, to take photos which is really nice so you'll be able to take photos with your volume which is great for taking cell photos uh, when you're on the go and also it does have multi-window enable for all apps um, there we go and you don't have to mess with anything there and that's pretty much automatic. Uh, so that is nice and also you get uh, expose app installer um, make sure you hit install update once go to modules uh, also check these on and reboot you'll be able to um, take advantage of expose app settings I have a full tutorial guide on that for running your apps in tablet or phone mode or change it to custom DPI X theme engine is sort of a new um, theme engine I haven't really messed with it but it is there also, you get FM radio, uh, that is nice. And also there's a bunch of uh, performance tweaks uh, on the kernel, so you should get a very good battery life and performance. Um, also with the SD card, uh, should give you very good battery life. Uh, one of the things that were mentioned, um, the person who suggested this to me, was very good battery life and performance. Um, it's not full featured um, like BiftoROM. It has more features, ROM control and stuff. But if you're just looking for uh, more of a stock-like uh, ROM with um, some features like multi-window enable for all apps, um, you know, great performance and battery life. And uh, you know, if you're looking for a simpler ROM but gives you the best performance and battery life, um, definitely check this one out. It looks pretty solid. And a nice little bar here. And that's about it. But uh, check it out for this week's ROM of the Week for the GT i9100 and also the AT&T SGH i777. And do let me know. And also there is ad blocking on this one. Um, so it will block ads. Uh, for example, if you go to uh, my site, i on Android, you'll not see ads. Or you can also download ad away. Um, you know, on XDA and install that, and that will work on any phone. And this will get rid of the apps. So there's supposed to be a ad there, but it's gone, I think. 
Anyway, check it out for this week's Rom of the Week, and do let me know what you think, but I think you will like it. A very good performance and uh, battery life, and also there is some S4 weather widget too, and some couple more things I didn't mention, um, but looks pretty solid. So check it out, and do let me know what you think, and as always, if you have a Galaxy S2, um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyS2root.com. We update you once a week with Rom of the Week, tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button there. And I will see you guys soon. Uh, stay high on Android.